Good afternoon everybody, Chad from Six Blog, I'm Stick. Uh, today I want to do part two of my Great Smoky Mountain National Park post hike gear talk video series. Um, I'm splitting this, uh, this series up just a little different uh, than I normally do. Normally for my post hike gear talk videos, um, I'll generally just take everything and throw in my backpack that I want to talk about. I'll sit down in front of the camera and I'll kind of pull those items out one by one uh, and I'll just kind of discuss how they did for me on that hike. However, um, on this particular trip I went on, temperatures were a little bit colder. Uh, not just super cold, but a little bit colder, so I was able to use some of my cold weather gear that I don't get to use just a whole lot during the year. Um, what that means is that since I don't use it a lot during the year, I don't really get to talk about it just a whole lot. So what I decided to do for this, this, uh, this post hike gear talk video series was instead of doing just one with a sea of, of just, you know, just a lot of different pieces of gear, I wanted to split it up in three different parts and talk about three different items that kept me warm. Uh, and those are also going to be, these are items that I don't really get to speak much about just simply because they're warm. You know, they're, they're for cold weather. My, my first part, um, I recently posted, was on the Z-Pax 20 degree Fahrenheit sleeping bag. And today I'm going to do part two. That's going to be on the Enlightened Equipment Stronghold Mittens. So uh, I just want to take a little bit of time and kind of talk to you about these. Now first off, just to kind of give you some backstory, I actually bought these, it was sometime last year, some late in the year, maybe late summer, early fall, somewhere around there. Uh, I'm not exactly sure exactly when. Uh, but I do know that I was just kind of, you know, I was, I, I kind of got it in my head, I was like, I need to, to get my, uh, my hand layering system, I want to get that fixed. I want, I want to get that better than what I recently had. So um, typically what I was wearing, uh, and I actually like these a whole lot, these are my Outdoor Research PL 150 gloves. I bought these when I very first started backpacking. Um, so they're an older model. I think the newer model, they put the little sensitive thing so that you can actually use a smartphone or something on the, the finger there. Obviously these don't do that. Um, but these are just some 150 weight fleece gloves and I really like them. Uh, so these have pretty much been my base system. But other than that, I've really struggled with the actual mittens and uh, of course with the over mittens. Um, so last year I was like, okay, I'm gonna find some. So I kind of started looking around and that's when I realized that Enlightened Equipment had put up some mittens. Uh, now the first thing that I noticed about the mittens that they had put up was that they were synthetic. And uh, to be honest, when I saw that, I thought, that's pretty awesome. Um, I, I love down. I'm not gonna get into the down versus synthetic arguments and stuff. Um, I do, I absolutely love down. I use a mixture of both down and synthetic uh, insulated pieces for different applications at different times of the year. Um, I, I don't necessarily think one is better than the other, but uh, I was kind of excited to see some mittens with synthetic insulation, uh, just because I feel like you know they kind of they're gonna they're gonna get abused a little more than some other pieces of insulation like just a jacket or a sleeping bag, um, because you're actually gonna be wearing them. And you're going to be grabbing stuff, you know, uh, water and dirt and everything can grind into them. Um, they're just going to be a bit more used, a bit more abused than normal pieces of insulated gear. So I thought that was pretty cool that uh, they were made out of synthetic insulation just because I think it can stand up just a little bit better to abuse than maybe down can uh, for this particular uh, application. So uh, I went ahead and I ordered a pair. Um, whenever I was looking at the website, um, if you've ever been to the Enlightened Equipment website, um, you'll know that uh, they have both 10D and 20D materials. Um, and of course they have both of those materials and a number of different color options. So I actually let my daughter, um, she picked out the color scheme here. Uh, the orange I believe may be uh, 10D and the black is 20D. I can't remember for sure. Um, but. Uh, I'm wanting to say that might be right, but I can't remember. It may both be 20D. I just know I let my daughter pick out the colors and she picked out orange and black. I picked out the insulation. Um, like I said, it is Climate Shield Apex and you could get them in uh, both 2.5 ounces per square yard or 4 ounces per square yard. Since I wanted something that was really going to keep my fingers warm, I said, you know what, I'm going for the 4 ounce per square yard. And these are the mittens that they sent. Now, um, first thing you may notice is they look kind of funny because they're kind of boxed off. I don't know if you can tell, but there's kind of a round it there. Uh, what I did is since these were just a little long for me, they had a little bit sticking off the top, I just turned them inside out and kind of put a, a seam across the top just so that it would kind of fit me just a little better. So they don't look this goofy. They, they actually looked a lot better uh, when I first got them. Um, but um, he sent these, and then what I realized 
what I noticed, I don't know how I came to notice it, but I noticed just shortly after I bought mine, I noticed they were off the website again. Um, I didn't know what happened, and then one day I got an email from Tim. Uh, he basically said that he had pulled the mittens off the website because uh, I guess he just wasn't 100% happy with the final product. He, he felt that he could make a better mitten than what he was currently uh, selling. So he said that he was going to pull those off the website, he was going to work on the design some more, and once he, he got a better design, one that he was happier with, um, he would put them back up. Uh, but uh, where he really went just all out, um, and what really, you know, to me says a lot is he said that uh, what he planned to do is once he made that design available, he was also going to send everyone that had ordered a pair of the old design, he was going to send them for free uh, just a pair of the new designs. So it was, uh, it was a couple of months ago. I got a package in the mail from the Lightning Equipment. At first I was kind of stumped. I was like, uh, what? Uh, but then I opened them up and were, these mittens were in there. And I was like, oh yeah, that's right. Um, so I got to say... Um, immediately when I, I took them out and I put them on, I was like, holy moly, these are so sweet. These are so much awesomer than the previous ones, which to me weren't bad, um, but I mean, these are just awesome. Um, so as far as I understand, um, I guess he just kind of went back through the, the list of orders that he had for the mittens, and he made the same ones with the same uh, feel weight uh, and the same color options, uh, and then he just sent those out. Because the ones that I have here, um, as you can see, it's orange and black. And he did use the 4 ounce per square yard Climate Shield Apex inside these, uh, same way he did with these. So, uh, so these are the ones I have. Now I do want to say, on the website, for these, these are listed for the 4 ounce per square yard in a size large. They do have small, medium, and large. And I can't remember the exact sizing frames. But I went with a large, and the way you measure is you measure from the base of your palm to the tip of, generally it's your middle finger, but whatever I guess is your longest finger. Um, and mine measures just over 8 inches, and a large will fit up to 8.5 inches. So that's what I have here is a large. And I've got to tell you, I mean, these things, they fit so wonderful. Um, it almost feels like I just took my hand and put it on a piece of paper and made a tracing and sent it to him and said, this is what size I need. Uh, because that's the way that feels. It really feels like it's custom tailored to me. Um, and what I also like is that it doesn't have a weird wonky shape with my thumb way over here on the side or anything like that. It, it really feels anatomical. Um, I really, really enjoy um, just putting my hand in this thing and, and moving my hand, my thumb, and my hand, my fingers together, of course, because it's a mitten. Um, it feels natural. It doesn't feel like I'm forcing any of the material to pull or stretch one way or the other. It just feels natural. So he did a really, really great job. I think he did a superb job with uh, with designing and, and constructing these new mittens. Um, now some other things I want to talk about, like I said, uh, he does offer 2.5 as well as the 4 ounce per square yard Climate Shield Apex. I believe the uh, the four the 2.5 ounce, I think they run $50 and, and the 4 ounce runs $55. So they're actually pretty reasonably priced too, uh, just simply because of not only the insulation but the materials he uses. He uses, on the inside, he uses a 10D material, and what's really nice about that is it's a little thinner. Uh, you know, it's not so thin that it's going to be just ripping or tearing anything, but it's a little thinner. Uh, if anybody's used lightweight materials, they, they probably know about what a 10D material feels like. But it's what's really nice is since Climate Shield Apex is not a loose or a, uh, you know, it's not a kind of a peel form, or a, it's, it's a solid sheet of, of uh, insulation. So really, you only have to sew around the edges. You don't have to baffle it or, or not baffle it, but you don't have to sew chambers or anything to hold it in place at random places. Uh, you can just sew it around the perimeter uh, and, and it holds in place just fine. But what's nice is the inside is the material on the inside, since it's a 10D, it feels real, real nice against my skin, first off. Um, but it's so thin, so it doesn't feel you know just crisp and, and uh, crinkly, uh, kind of stiff. It, it feels just so comfortable. Uh, but since it's only sewn around the perimeters too and not sewn across the middle or anything like that it's just like that 10D material just kind of wraps around my fingers inside there and it, it really does it, it kind of just putting it on in here it kind of makes it feel warm I, I, can, I, I can just feel warmth inside there so uh, I think he really did a good job of construction uh, the outside is made with 20D as far as the top of the mitt and the bottom uh, the, the back of the thumb and the bottom part, 
But what's really nice about these is um, he has some 70D material. And that's what he actually made on the inside of the thumb and covers the palm areas. The 7D, 7D, 7, 0, and then a D. Not 7D, 7D, D uh, material. So it's a much more durable material on the palm area, which is good because, like I said, if you're using these to, you know, pick up something, you know, wood, um, a hot cook, I wouldn't want to pick up a hot cook pot with it, but I guess if I absolutely had to, I could. Um, but, you know, just, you know, kind of messing around camp, doing stuff with stakes or, or moving rocks or something like that, um, this material is going to stand up to doing that kind of stuff a lot better than the 20D. Um, that is actually what these are made out of. So, uh, it's a much more durable material uh, and it's, it's, it just works. Um, as far as features, there's only really two features that I could think of as far as mentioning with these mittens. Uh, the first is the way that they kind of clasp closed. Um, he uses this, uh, it's not 1 16th, maybe 3 32nd shock cord. Um, and he has an anchored uh, mini cord lock, or maybe a tiny cord lock. And it's anchored, so all you got to do is just reach and grab the end of the, the, uh, the shock cord and pull, and that will tighten down around my wrist. The other thing that's really cool about these that, uh, that I really like is how far down my wrist or my arm they go. They actually go to my mid forearm. Um, they go way down there, so that's really cool. Um, now what I found in wearing these is that if I'm just going to be chilling out for a while, I find that it's better if I'll go ahead and put these mittens on first and then pull my, my down jacket or something on over these. That way I'm, I'm covering this and this is on the inside because if you'll notice, the uh, these don't they don't they don't spread out they don't get wider as it goes over my arm here it's actually the same diameter so if you're wearing a big puffy jacket that comes all the way down to your wrist it might be a little difficult to kind of pull this over that just a little um, so I found that if I'm if I know I'm going to just be sitting around and not be doing anything I would rather just put these on and kind of slide my sleeves up uh, over this so that this is on the inside of my jacket. Uh, now, if I'm just kind of doing things around camp and I need to, uh, you know, be able to have access to, to slide them off to do something if I need to or be able to slide them back on, I don't worry about it so much. I just kind of put it on and, you know, just kind of wads up there at my wrist next to my jacket and that kind of seals off anything, you know, coming into it as well. So, uh, so I really like the, uh, the longer length there to cover some of my forearm. Now, like I said, I do use these in a system. Um, as I said, I've been using these ORPL 150 gloves for a long time, and uh, what I like is I can just put these on, and they still fit inside these these mittens very well. Um, I'm still not taking up a ton of room, um, and they still they're still not you know too small, uh, even with my gloves on inside them. I can still do just fine. And like I said, if I'm doing something, I need to just take them off. Of course, my hands are still covered. I can do whatever I want, and I can slide them back on. And of course, I do have some uh, MLD over mitts, uh, and they actually work pretty well over these just simply because these are kind of thick, uh, and they fill out my over mitts pretty well. I will say that I'm not, I really like the material um, that MLD uses for the over mitts, but I'm not a huge fan of the way that they're shaped, the way that they're designed. Um, so I'm hoping that sometime in the future, that maybe Tim will make a complimentary over mitt to go with these. I have talked to him about it. He says it's on the list, but it's not necessarily in the works. He, it's, I think it's going to be kind of far down the line maybe, but who knows, we'll see. So anyway, uh, one other thing I want to talk about is weight. Um, I, I can't tell you what the weight on these are. I could weigh them, but I'm not going to. It doesn't really matter at this point. Um, but these, um, for a size large with a four ounce per square yard climb shield apex, it's listed at 2.25 ounces on the uh, website. When I measure the pair that I have here, uh, my scale actually fluctuates between 2.2 to 2.3. It just keeps rocking back and forth. Um, so I'm going to say that these are pretty much spot on 2.25 ounces uh, for the pair, which is not very bad at all. That means it's just, just over 1.1 ounce per mitt. So they're, they're actually very lightweight. Um, but I'm telling you, for the thickness that they are, like I said, it's four ounce per square yard climate shield apex, and that's not split between the two. That's on each layer. It's four ounce everywhere it is. It's the four ounce per square yard climate shield apex. So uh, that's really nice. But anyway, those are the uh, M, uh, not the MLD. These are the Enlightened Equipment Stronghold mittens. Um, I 
got to tell you, I'm really, really excited about having these. I did, um, I didn't get to wear them as much as I wanted to on the hike. My kids ended up wearing them more than I did, just simply because, like I said, I was, I was doing a lot of the chores around camp. Um, but when I was sitting at Cliff Top Saturday night, kind of watching the sun go down, um, I was wearing these. And I got to say, they, they were very comfortable and they did keep my fingers warm. And I was using them in conjunction with these. I didn't have my over mitts on over them. Um, but I, I'm very excited about them, and I definitely look forward to, uh, to wearing these um, in future cold weather hikes. So, if you're in the market for a pair of mittens at a very reasonable price, like I said, these are $55 for the 4 ounce, $50 for the 2.5 ounce. Uh, but if you're in the market for a pair of, of uh, over mittens, uh, synthetic field, I would definitely suggest you go and check these out at Lighting Equipment. So anyway, I think that just about covers it. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, just post them below and I'll do my best to get back to you and reply to any of the, you know, the, uh, the questions or answer, or answer any questions, reply to the comments. And uh, guys, I just appreciate you watching. I'll see you next time.